Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the new phone link app with the new UI in Windows 11 23H2, of course, the latest version of Windows 11. Since we last talked about the phone link, it has received a lot of updates, a lot of new versions, and we're going to try to cover what happened, what has changed, and how the phone link app looks right now. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before starting the video, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by Isis Partition Master. Isis Partition Master is an only one free partition manager designed for individual users. With the software, you have the options to copy OS data to another HDD or SSD and convert MBR to GPT for the Windows 11 upgrade. Along with that, you can also do simple tasks such as create, delete, resize, merge, format, partitions, and more. It works perfectly on Windows 11, Windows 10, Windows 8, 8.1, and Windows 7. Make sure to check out Isis Partition Master from the links in the description below. Let's continue with the video. First of all, of course, you're going to have to go into the Microsoft Store and go into the library section and then click on get updates to get the latest updates for all your Windows apps. Along with those should be also the phone link app. Now the latest version for the phone link app if we're going to app settings is the version 1.231020.0. So let's open up the app. The process of connecting your phone to the phone link app is the same. So I'm not going to go through it. But as you can see, the phone link app has been improved. It still needs some work in my opinion, but it's improved and it better matches the Windows 11 design principles. As you can see, first of all, in the What's New window, we have some corners that are not really cut how they should be, but that's no issue because Microsoft will fix those in the near future. So as you can see right now, we have a completely different UI and design. Everything is matching the Windows 11 design with new animations. As you can see, you can see all your apps, photos, and more. And you have a redesigned settings section that now matches the Windows 11 experience. As you can see, before we had only a personal setting that now is split between general and features as you can see we have a lot of general settings banners patches theme app behavior and also features where you can customize notifications messages calls apps photos connection optimization wallpaper cross device copy paste instant hotspot and more you also have devices where you can easily connect all your devices that you want of course in the left side we're getting some quick info about our Wi-Fi status signal battery and if you click on this you can also open the phone screen which is pretty nice basically you have a screencast experience directly from Windows 11 and you're just gonna need to allow the phone screen to be casted to your Windows operating system and you should have this as you can see it is really responsive and it's a good job done by Microsoft in my opinion also the about section is no longer a thing it's merged into general and feedback and community got merged into help and feedback some of these changes were noted by changewindows.org so a huge shout out to them you can follow them on Twitter for more info like this but I'm thinking that the phone link app has improved quite a lot and don't forget that it now has also support for iOS you can connect your iPhone to the phone link app and have info about this you can see basically photos in real time apps calls and also messages I think that is really really cool you also have additional settings to instant hotspot and basically you'll need some permissions and you can do that pretty easily but of course please let me know below in the comments what you think about the new phone link app in my opinion it looks really nice and the fact that it blends in with Windows 11 way better it's a win for me so I think the use of third party software is not necessarily needed of course if you need multiple functions and features you can go for a third party app but i think the basic settings and the basic tools are present inside the phone link app the official app from windows 11 so this was the new phone link app with a new ui and new updates if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was your man your home tech base until next time have a nice day